again, everybody. Fiber Spider back again with another origami tutorial for you. And today I'm going to show you how you can take something flat and with a little puff of air, make it fabulous. Yes, I'm going to show you how to create inflatable origami balloons. They're really easy, quick to make, and I have been making these on and off for decades. Now, as a little extra thing, if you use waxed paper, you can actually fill them with water and make little water balloons. You know, a lot of fun, really easy. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. All right, so to begin with, I've got my paper here and I'm gonna start with the colored side facing down. And just like we've done in some of our previous videos, we need to make a base. Well, instead of folding it into a rectangle to start with, we're going to start by folding it into a triangle to start with, because this is going to be a different kind of base. So fold it in half to make a triangle. Open it up and then turn and then fold it again into a triangle the opposite way. Open it up, flip it over, and now we do the rectangles because we want our balloon to be blue, not white. So fold it in half to make a rectangle. Open it up, turn, and do it again. Another rectangle. There we go. And we're almost done with our base. So pop the center up, and we're going to fold along these mountain folds and sort of squish and then flatten it out so that we have a triangle and so we've got two flaps in the front and two in the back and it's open at the bottom all right so that is our base Okay, so when you have your base, we're going to be just working with the two front triangles to begin with. So take the first and then fold this tip till it reaches the top. And it's going to be this side edge along the middle. Increase. And then again, just the front the front flap, fold it up to the top tip point, and crease, flip your piece over and do the exact same thing, tip to tip, and then tip to tip. There we go. Now my folds were not perfect, so you can see the white, but you know what, that's okay. All right, so from here, again, we're gonna be just working with the, the front flaps. The back flaps we will get to later. Now with these two points of the front flaps, fold them to the center. So I'm gonna turn my work so that it's a little bit easier, but just the front flaps, the tip, that point to the center. like so, turn, just the front flap, tip to the center, okay, and then we turn the work over and do the same thing, corners to the center,
All right, so at this point, you should have your little flaps at the top. And at the bottom, there's actually a hole at the bottom. And that is exactly what we want. So we just have a few more steps and it'll be done. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to take these flaps up top and we need to tuck them into these pockets that we created here. Now, when I was a kid, I, I can't believe I just used that phrase, but when I was a kid, we were told, you know, just take this flap and just stick it down into this pocket. Well, there's a much easier way. So instead of trying to scooch that into there, what we're gonna do is along this edge, fold the flap down and do that on the other side. And then these two triangles, fold them in half from here down. So we now have a little triangle. So basically it was folding it down and then in half. And we're gonna do the same thing with this one right here, fold it in half. And by doing this, it makes it a lot easier to take this and put it into this pocket on the side here. Makes it so much easier. And it's inside of that little pocket now. So lift this little guy up, open up your pocket, and then put the flap into the pocket when it's nice and open. There we go. And then we do the same thing on the other side. Turn it over, fold your flaps down, and in half, lift it up, open the pocket, and then put your corner into that pocket. Same thing over here. Fold it down. Fold it in half. Lift it up. Open the pocket. And then put that into the pocket. And there you go. And that is all there is to it. Now, all it needs is some inflation. Now what I like to do is actually, I like to also add a few more creases because that way it has more of a, a cube shape. You know, if you don't wanna add these next creases, that's totally fine. But what I like to do is I like to fold from here to here down and then unfold turn it over and do the same crease. And then do it the same thing on the other end. Now this is of course, totally a matter of personal preference and choice. You're the one making it, so it's up to you. And there you go. So all of our folding is done. Now it just needs a little puff of air to Give it a little life. All right, so I've got my little finished balloon right here and I just wanted to show you just how easy it is. Now, as I mentioned before, right here is where we have the opening. And so what I like to do is to, again, make it easier. I like to sort of separate this piece into four so I can get a nice grip on it and then inflate. so much fun. I love it. And, uh, you know, it, it becomes quite addictive af after a while, actually. And you just want to keep making them. <laughs> and then you can go bigger as well. A lot of fun. 
And as you can see, they're pretty easy to make. Also, another thing that I had an idea about, if you have LED lights, ones that do not get hot, okay, before you inflate your balloon, trim just a little bit at the tip where the hole is, okay? And then you can insert the, the, the LED into that hole after you inflate it. And if you use a, a lightweight paper that the light can shine through, you have little lanterns. Now, of course, be careful. We don't want to have any accidents or fires happening, but it's a thought. You know, like if it's going to be constantly supervised, that could be a cute holiday idea. Just putting it out there. And uh, yeah, so these are a lot of fun. Um, now, I haven't tried the, the light idea, but it just sort of came to me. But the idea of making these out of waxed paper and filling them up with water. Yeah, that idea has already occurred to me more than once when I was younger. <laughs> So listen, everybody, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial, and I hope that it inspired you to make some of these yourself. They're a lot of fun. Well, you know what to do until next time, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay folding, and stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day, everybody, and bye for now.